it's time that we start raising our strength standards. You see, with the rise of the fake naturals, a lot of people now understand that they're not going to be super shredded and big at the same time, which is a good thing. It's great that the community is becoming more educated as to what's possible to achieve without drugs. But there comes one major issue with this fake natty attacking movement, which is the fact that a lot of people are creating self-limiting beliefs, which is preventing them from accessing their true natural potential. And specifically, I'm referring to strength development. Like you've all heard the same standards over and over again. You know what? I'm fucking tired of hearing that shit. It's always the same thing. 275 to three plate bench. Settle for that and you're all good. Or the deadlift. Five plates. Once you can pull five plates, no need to go past that point. And then the rows, 275 rows, 315 at the absolute max, you know? I mean, the standards are so low, if you ask me. They're so low, yet everyone accepts them as reality. And honestly, man, after talking to guys like Mike Machine Bruce and Eric Bugenhagen, I realized that naturals have a lot of fucking potential. You guys have so much potential. And you know what? It's my mission to make sure that all of you don't end up on drugs. I don't want you having to pin every single fucking day or uh, on a weekly basis. I don't want you doing that. I want you to focus on strength development and set the bar high, set the standards high. Why are you gonna settle for a five plate deadlift? And then once you reach there, okay, I'm all good. Not gonna push it past that point. Why? I don't understand it, man. And a lot of people use that bullshit leverage excuse. Leverage is my ass. I have the worst leverages of all time, yet I pull 545, right? I'm gonna pull six plates in 48 weeks. There's no excuse. As long as you dedicate a goal in your mind and you set out to achieve it, and it's within a realistic range per se. And you know what, it doesn't have to be realistic. But as long as you mentally set yourself for that future goal, I think you're gonna make great gains. And you know what, even if you fail, at least you motherfucking try. You know, like set the bar high, set the bar high, man. How about a six plate deadlift? How about we make that the new standard? I think a lot of you guys can do it. I think the majority of my subscribers can achieve a six plate deadlift if you work at it hard enough. I'm just tired of hearing the same bullshit standards. Like uh, for years, I thought that I had reached my natural limit or that I was getting really close to it in 2014, 2015. But then I discovered neck training. Then I discovered partial lifts, uh, cheat rows, cheat shrugs, and it just blew up my entire physique. If you look at my videos, like 2016 for me was the year of gains. It was the naturally enhanced year. I made all kinds of yoke gains. And if I would have been in this mentality of, oh, I can't go past this point. I'm just going to maintain now. You would have never seen the gains that I've acquired. Nor would I have been able to help all the thousands of guys that have applied this advice. Like everybody who's done uh, the rack pulls above the knee, the cheat shrugs, the cheat rows, the direct neck work. You're benefiting from this results, right? You're benefiting. You're benefiting. So... Why would you set the bar low? Why would you set the strength standards low? I say set it so fucking high that it doesn't even make sense. Set it absurdly high. Like deadlifts. Set that shit to six plates. Or even seven plates. Why not? Why the fuck not? Like once I reach that six plate pull, you know what? I'm going to set the goal to, to uh, 700 pounds. Why not? Why not? Even if I fail. So what? It's going to allow you to push yourself hard in the gym. And once you have, like, I'm going to tell you something. Once you mentally set yourself on a certain goal, it makes it that much more, uh, possible that you're going to achieve it. I'm, there's just, there's a magic behind it. I cannot fully explain it. Maybe it's the law of attraction, uh, auto suggestion, Napoleon Hill style. I don't know what it is, but I'm telling you for a fact that once you set the bar high, typically you're going to achieve high results. And th there really is, there's a lot of stuff that you can do naturally, I, provided that you don't follow minimal systems. I mean, there's so much strength that you can do. Like, let's say you, let's say in theory that you do reach uh, your limit per se on the deadlift. Well, guess what? There's still a bunch of other variations that you can do. You can get better at the behind the back version. You can get better at the Jefferson Delph. You can get better at different rack pulls, various heights. How come no one's, how come no one sets a standard on rack pulls? You know what I'm saying? Like, how come we don't have an a thousand pound above the knee rack pull standard? I think that should be a motherfucking standard. You know, uh, why don't we set a below the knee rack pull standard, a middle of the knee rack pull standard, right? How about we set a cheap row standard, right? A dumbbell row standard, a one arm dumbbell press standard. I mean, there's so many lifts in which you can apply these crazy standards. Yet no one does this. Everyone, uh, they look at the results in terms of the big three. I've reached a three-plate bench, a four-plate squat, a five-plate deadlift. Now I'm done. Bullshit, you're done. Bull fucking shit. There is so much you can do. And you know what? Let's say you fail. Let, let's say you exhausted all your options, right? That's still no reason to maintain and be fucking mediocre. You can always do something like MMA, boxing, uh, maybe endurance sports. I don't know. There's a lot of options out there. But to resort to drugs or to resort to maintaining... To me, that's worthless. Set the bar high. You'd be very surprised how much you could achieve. For years, I made excuses about my little build, my hypermobile elbows, right? My shitty fucking deadlift leverages. But now I'm shooting numbers that I never even dreamed of, right? This is because of the mentality. It's all about the mentality. If you set your bar, if you set your standards high, you will, uh, you will achieve things that you never thought was possible. So that's all I'm trying to say in this video. Increase your strength standards, man. Stop with the conventional way of thinking. 
Get your shrug to 600 pounds. Get your rose. Why not? Why not a 400 pound row standard? Why not? Right? Get your rack pull above the knee to 1,000 pounds. Shoot all your numbers up. Get a two plate over at Preston. Why not set a 250? Why the fuck not? Even if you fail, like I said, at least you tried. It's better to have a high standard than to maintain. You know what? If you maintain, you're going to end up like all these guys in the gym that you see every single day not making any gains. Like the guys at my gym, right? No offense to them. They're, they're great people and all, but I've been seeing them for like five fucking years. They're doing the same shit. The same weights, they look the same, no gains have been made. Why? Because they had that self-limiting belief. They thought that, oh, I'm at, my, I'm at my limit now. I'm not gonna make any more gains. So they just maintain. I say, screw that. Find a way to break through that plateau. Even if it means uh, changing exercises. Even if it means emphasizing something that's not the big three. Whatever, doesn't matter. So that's it, that's all I gotta say, man. Increase your strength standards, set the bar really, really high. If you fail, so what, at least you tried. That's all I got to say. If you enjoyed this video, let me know down below. With that, I'll talk to you guys next time.